All right, kids, so I'm gonna show you some exercises to do at home. Uh, if you've got a big pillow or a giant stuffed animal, just some simple exercises you can do. I'm gonna show you the exercise and then we're gonna show the fundamental aspect of that exercise so you have something to visualize while you're doing it so you're not just doing the uh, exercise without some intent. So our first one is we're just gonna work rear naked choke. I'm just gonna start seated. I'm gonna stay here with the pillow. I'm gonna push it to the side like I'm pushing the head over, get my head next to their head, gable grip, suck it in, bring my arm through, and start looking for my choke, and then I can squeeze the pillow as tight as I can, and then I'm gonna work that on both sides. So I'm here, I'm gonna grab, push over, get my gable grip, suck that tight, and bring it through. Okay, so we're here, we're gonna grab, push the head, lock that head with our head, gable grip, bring it in, these hands are opening up and this one's sliding behind the head and this one's into my bicep as I come in here and squeeze. And that's gonna be our first exercise with the pillow. Now first exercise we did with the pillow, I just wanna give you guys a visualization for what you need to be thinking about in your head when you're looking at that exercise. So we're visualizing that I have back control. I'm getting my head off to the side to control that head of my opponent. Getting up, grabbing the shoulder, getting to my gable grip, and then sliding my hands behind for the choke. All right? So again, we're imagining we have position, seat belt here, moving their head to the side if I need to. Coming up, getting that gable grip, pulling back, and sliding back to the Okay, so uh, the next exercise we're gonna do is like we're gonna simulate setting up a triangle choke. Um, I wanna kind of visualize that the pillow this time is control of wrists and control of arms. So I'm gonna put my legs up, like I'm in my guard here. I'm gonna control, like I'm controlling the wrists. I'm gonna punch this one through so that I can come up and over the shoulder here. And then I'm gonna come over and lock my triangle on this side, squeezing my legs, coming up around the head, pulling the head down and finishing my triangle. And I can do this both sides, right? I'm here, I'm gonna push this leg over, get the triangle, lock behind the head, and squeeze. And this is gonna be kind of the exercise that I can do with the pillow here. Push, pull, here, and squeeze. So look at it from a few directions. Here, push, over, triangle, squeeze. This side, push, pull, triangle, squeeze. We'll do one from this direction as well. Here. That'll be our triangle choke. All right, so one of the things we're thinking about with that exercise is setting up the triangle choke. So we're talking about having the hands where I'm pushing one down, bringing this leg up and over, getting my hips high, turning, locking up the triangle, grabbing the back of the head before my squeeze. All right, so again, I'm here. I'm gonna push one side through, getting my legs up, this leg coming up high to lock the triangle, grabbing behind the head to finish my squeeze. That's what I need you to visualize with the exercise you just watched. All right, kids, next one, we're gonna work on our hip sweep. So I'm gonna start here in my guard, pillow between my legs. I'm gonna sit up, coming to the hip sweep, like I'm reaching around the shoulder. This hand's coming on the mat, open up my foot, take the pillow over to where I end up at mount. So I'm here, locked in, drop, come up, bring that pillow over, and get heavy in mount. One more time, go from this side, here, sit up, grab, kick over, heavy in the mount, that would be our hip sweep. All right, so for that next exercise, we're looking at the hip sweep. I'm here, this partner's in my guard. Feet on the ground, sitting up, planting, grabbing the elbow, pulling through, getting the top position. So we'll do that again from another angle. I'm here, we're looking for that hip sweep. Planting on the ground, slide, up, kick, pull them through, getting the top mount position. All right, kids, next drill is gonna be around the world. So we're gonna start with the pillow in side control, okay? 
I can be here. I'm just going to mimic that this is the body. Then I'm going to switch out to Kesakatame. We're going to move to the top here. I'm going to switch back out to this direction. Kesakatame on this side. Back with variations of my side control. And then I'm going to go back the other direction. So I'm Kesakatame this side. Over the map. Come back. Back to side control. And then switching again. Here. Over. Back. Back to side. From side control, I can hop up, come them out if I need to, switch off to that side, transition them around, one side to the other. Just constantly moving through our around the world. So the around the world drill is just to work on changing position as if we would change when we were grappling. I'm going to start in side control. I'm going to switch to Kesekitane. I'm going to move to the north south. I can switch back. After that, move back to one of my side control variations. From here, I can slide over to mount and I can continue to go back to the other side as well. And just working on movement, basic movement patterns. So we're used to getting into our positions. All right, kids, so our next drill is just gonna be a knee on stomach drill. I'm gonna start knee on stomach, and I've got a couple motions I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump and switch sides. Once I switch sides, I'm gonna step one, two all the way back, hit knee on stomach on this side, and then I'm gonna switch, switch back, one, all the way up for rotation, back to here, switch, switch, rotate, all the way back, switch, switch, rotate, big step, come over, back to here, switch, switch, step, and rotate. For a couple things um, what we need to visualize for that knee on stomach jump. If I'm here and my partner rolls to the other side, I might need to switch and jump to stop them on this side. And if he rolls back, I can do that same thing. Jump and switch, right? I can also step over. If he rolls really hard and he, he starts to roll to that other side, I can step, track, and then I come to knee on stomach on this side and bring him back. Again, he rolls to the other side, step, come through, knee on stomach on the other side. Okay, kids, next one we're gonna simulate the arm bar from mount. I'm gonna start mount position here with the pillow. I'm gonna bring the pillow up like I'm trapping the arm. We're gonna make our plant as we come over, slide up, come back, come through, and we're gonna finish the arm bar here. Reach across, make my frame, come up, slide back, coming in, just like I can finish the arm bar. Again here, reaching across, step, slide that knee up, through, come through, and come in to finish the armor. All right, so visualizing the arm bar from mount. I'm reaching under, bringing the arm across my body, framing, bringing this knee up. This leg's gonna rotate through so I can sit up and come back into my arm bar. So again, whatever side you're grabbing on the pillow, you're gonna take that pillow, bring it across your body. Plant, slide that knee up. This leg's coming all the way up and through. Step over, taking it back into the straight arm bar. All right, kids, so now we're gonna do the arm bar from guard. So I'm gonna start here. Again, with the pillow in front of me. I'm gonna reach around, turn, come off, and then come for the arm bar. So I'm here, I can plant, Rotate, keep this leg, this leg up, come in to finish the arm bar. So I'm here, I'm coming in to the arm bar. Move from the side, here, off. I want to make sure the pillows face this direction horizontal to me. At the end of this drill, I'm going to turn and make sure that I'm in line with the pillowcase. 
before I go in to the arm bar. So again, the pillow's here, frame, come off, twist, get my lock, get that in line, and I can start looking for the arm bar from here. So with that exercise, we need to visualize we're hitting the arm bar from guard. So I'm getting control, planting. If I don't have the hip, I can go ahead and plant on the ground. This leg's coming up, I'm turning, getting my angle. So I can come over for my straight arm bar. All right, so again, I'm here, trapping the arm, foot, rotate, come over, get my angle. That's what we're trying to visualize with that last exercise. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna grab around the outside, like we're doing our Toriando pass, and I'm grabbing on the pants. But this time I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna hop back to clear my legs, move to the side, cross over, come in, and get side control. Then I'll pop back up, and I'll hit it the other side. Here, hop back, cross that over, come over, get side control. Moving to position. One more time, here, legs back, take over, cross over, get position, whatever side control position you want. And again, we can move to our other spots, our other positions, come up, hit some of our other things we're working on. All right, so now we're looking at what we're visualizing with that last one. Obviously the pillow's on the ground, but in reality I'm grabbing inside my partner's pants. I'm gonna hop back, Jump to the side, crossing my arms, pushing his legs away from me, coming through and getting to however I like to hold side control. All right, so look at that again. Remember, you're holding the base of the pillow. We're jumping our legs back, moving to the side, crossing over, coming through, getting the side control. One more time. Here, jump back. Cross, move, side control. Visualize that when you're doing the drill. Okay, next one's gonna be another guard pass. We're gonna do our double under. I'm gonna reach underneath the pillow, pick it up, and then get my body locked like I'm coming around the legs. I'm gonna step over, and I'm gonna turn, and pass over, again, moving to side control. So I'm gonna be here. Both hands, grab the pillow, pull it up, get my body lock, drive, reach across, turn, 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 until we pass the pillow. And then we get back into our side control, and again, to move to whichever positions we want from there. So one more time, on the double underpass, boom, lift up, grab the pillow, grab the other side of the pillow, drive your shoulder towards your hand, turn over till you clear it, Good side control, back to position. All right, so the next one, this is our visualization. We're setting up that double underpass. I'm reaching underneath, grabbing in front of the thighs, picking them up, picking these hips off the ground. This hand's gonna reach towards that shoulder, and then it's gonna turn and rotate over in the side control. Okay, so again, it's the same motion you're working with on your pillow at home, here, Lift, grab the shoulder, stack, turn, and moving to your side control. All right, next exercise, I'm gonna start bottom side control, and I'm just gonna work on getting back to my guard. So I'm gonna be here, person's weight's on top of me, making sure that I'm bridging, getting the pillow on the side, stripping out, creating space, turn my legs in, Get back to my guard. All right, so we're here again with the person and the pillow across my body like a person might be. So I'm gonna get my frames, I'm gonna bridge in, strip away, turn in, get back to my guard. I can start flowing these together also. So this might be an example where I got back to my guard. Sit up, I go to the hip sweep. We already worked the arm bar from here, so I can switch up and I can start to go for that. Go to the arm bar, right? Come back up. Go back up to the hip sweep. Sit that out to my around the world. 
Go to my knee on stomach. Come back, I can go to my guard passes. Back to my around the world. Play around with these drills and mix them all up together in different sequences. All right, so again, visualization for that last exercise. I'm here, I've worked in, I've started my inside frames. I'm gonna strip, getting some space, bridging. Then I'm gonna strip, clear space, turn, and recover my guard, right? Once I'm here, we always gotta remember thinking about getting what grips are available to me. So, getting into the pillow lane across us, I make my frame, I bridge up, strip, clear, get spaced, get back to my guard, 